Today we're going to cover the types of failures that you're going to find with a printer that's not level. Let's get going. The type of leveling we're talking about isn't this type where we're trying to level something to gravity, but more parallel to the build plate where what we really want is the LCD, maybe this, and the build plate to be parallel with each other. This gives us the best print results and the easiest time printing. Now, how to know whether you are level or not are to print these five build plate calibration parts. You set them up on the build plate kind of like this in a five dice pattern. Once they're done, you'll scrape them off, cure them for about one minute, and then measure them with a pair of digital calipers. What you're looking for is that each one of these measures at about one millimeter thick. If you're off by 0.2 millimeters, that's fine. And that's your Z offset. It, they should measure one millimeter on the low spot. There's a little spot that is sitting in case that says one millimeter, and that's where you measure with digital calipers. But also what you're looking for is whether or not you're parallel to the build plate. Now for that one, you really only care about corner to corner. You don't want it to be any more than 0.2 millimeters above, but really if you're 0.3, you're gonna be okay. 0.4 and above, you're, you're out of level and you're gonna probably see a lot of failures. So that's corner to corner. You want best is 0.2 or lower, 0.3 or higher, not so good. If you have a really big printer with a really big build plate, they can be kind of hard to level. And maybe you don't know if you are level or not, or you know that you're out of level and it doesn't matter how many times you try, you just can't make it work out right. So there's this little thing right here that can help you. You just set it right on top and it will evenly distribute the weight on it so you can level it up hands-free. In this video, we're gonna talk about two ways your printer can be out of level. The second one is rather unique and this may be the first time you're hearing about it. So stay tuned. The first one is really easy and that's generally where pretty much the build plate is out of level. So on one half, it's pushing down into the FEP, creating layer compression. And the second one, there's basically a bridge that needs to be gapped with resin. The second one, the more one that might be the first time you're hearing about this is Z offset. Now Z offset comes from FDM, but I think it's way overlooked in how important it is in resin. And Z offset is this, either it's too low and you're pushing down on your layers, creating layer compression or a lot of pressure, or it's too high and there's too much of a bridge that needs to be gapped to make the resin cure up from the FEP onto the build plate so that your prints stick to the build plate. Now this is where this can get a little bit confusing and that is if your printer's out of level and you have a high pressure spot and a low pressure spot and how that can be the same as the offset where a high pressure spot, a low pressure spot, sometimes it can be confusing about which one is which when you're looking at a failed print. So let's cover some of the indications of what it might be and help you self-identify. So first we wanna talk about this side of it, the layer compression side of it. There's really three indicators that you're suffering from layer compression. One of them is gonna be what I call polished rafts. And that's where the raft is really nice and shiny, but there's no supports coming out of it where there should be. Now, if the polished rafts are occurring across the entire build plate, that's an issue with Z offset. If it's only occurring on half of it, that's an issue of out of level. The second indication, and this one took me a really long time to figure out, uh, over a year in helping lots of people. And this one is where the supports are printing, but then they just stop, like they're clean, and there's no indication of why it's happened. This is actually an issue of Z offset, but instead of it happening at the raft, it's happening higher up in the supports. Again, if it's happening on one end, that's indication that you are out of level. If it's happening uh, randomly in places on the build plate, that's indication that the Z offset is set too far and you're pushing down too much. The next indication that you might be suffering from that layer compression is thin rafts. In most slicers, a raft is about 0.5 millimeters to one millimeter thick. And after you kind of print for long enough, you'll be able to determine whether or not the rafts that come out of your print are thicker or thinner than what they expected them to be. And remember, if they're thinner, layer compression. Now that we've talked about the one side of it, the layer compression side, let's talk about the other side, which is this exposure gap you have to fill in. Now this one can also be a little bit complicated because there's a couple indicators about it. One being, how do you solve it correctly? Or have you accidentally created more issues by trying to solve it? Let's really focus on that second one. Have you created more issues by trying to solve it? Well, how did you try to solve it? Well, unfortunately, if you go online and you suffer from, let's say, half of the prints on the build plate or the polished draft issue, and they're on half of the build plate, the most common advice I see is increase the UV exposure layers, increase the UV exposure time, or increase the transition layers. Though this will cure the resin more so that it makes contact with the build plate, what you're gonna have is rafts that are really, really thick, or you're gonna get what's called split rafts. Now a split raft is where part of the raft printed, a thicker part generally, and a thinner part at the top split off the top. That's a split raft. Now what happens with a split raft is basically you have a, a layer that's really hard cured, over cured, and then you transition through either the transition layers or through the normal layers, and now you have part of it that's not cured well enough and that part's gonna peel off. There's a couple other ways this can happen, even if your uh, layers are cured all the way through, 
but that gets a little bit into a different conversation and we'll save that for a different video. The other indication that you are suffering from, let's say, the, the, the bigger side of the out of level or the upper side of the Z offset is your rafts are just way, way too thick, like I talked about earlier. They're just thicker than they should be. Again, your raft should generally are gonna be one millimeter or 0.5 millimeters or somewhere in between. But if you look at your rafts and they're just obviously too thick, that's indication that you are way overexposing your burn-in layers and you're probably doing it to overcompensate for a printer that's out of level or the Z offset is set too high. One of the main negative downside effects about using the method of just increasing the UV exposure time to fill in the gap would be while well, you're wasting resin. Uh, rafts are generally large surface areas, so that consumes a lot of resin. And the second one is you can actually be destroying the life of your printer. During those burn-in layers, the resin gets very, very hot and they're really long exposure time, so that really can decrease the life of your LCD. If you're thinking to yourself, I don't really need to worry about this, my resin comes with auto leveling. Well, in that one, you're probably not correct, unfortunately. Here's the build plate from the very first printer that came with auto leveling. This is from the Anycubic M5S. On this side, there's a little plastic cover you may not have noticed. If I flip it around, what you'll see is there's actually two bolts here. That's because when this printer originally came out, it had a build plate that was not able to be manually leveled but uh, it became quickly apparent that it did need to have that option in order to overcome some of these issues I just talked about. So later on, a build plate was released and now if you buy any Anycubic with a automatic level or including the Frozen Revo with automatic leveling, they all come with the ability to manually level the build plate because, uh, well, they need it. There's one other really important thing to notate and that is on most printers, the center of the printer as well as on the LCD is actually concaved which means in the center, it'll be slightly thicker than on the edges. This is important to understand because this can be misleading on some of these topics. If you wanna know whether or not your build plate is level or concaved in the center, take a metal ruler and a flashlight and shine it through it. If you see a gap, and on most of them you will, some bigger than others, you'll know whether or not your printer is concaved. With all that out of the way, what I'm gonna do now is look at some prints I found online and just kinda see if we can identify what's going on based on the type of failure and what we've learned. Now looking at this first one, what I see is some polished rafts. Now polished rafts, like I said, stated earlier, are generally an issue with some compression. So what we wanna find out is where is this compression being caused? And it looks like in here, uh, we don't know where these were placed on the build plate, but definitely at least on one of the sides of both of these, there's some layer compression going on. Now if we look at their settings, what we see here are 10 bottom layers. That's a lot of bottom layers at um, 60 seconds a piece. So what we can determine here is that they are, the overexposure on the bottom layers is causing that resin to swell up and create pressure. That pressure is creating layer compression, which is causing essentially the polished raft situation we talked about earlier. Moving to the next one, what we see here is a bunch of rafts. It looks like the entire build plate from, from this picture where we only have a little bit of nubs and then the whole thing stopped printing. Same thing here, if we look at their settings, what we see is 10 bottom layers, zero transition layers, and an exposure time of only 25 seconds, quite a bit lower on this one. But I still think on this one, what we're getting is layer compression, causing these things to print and then eventually stop. When we go into the normal layers, and the normal layers are going to have uh, less exposure time, there's gonna be a gap, and basically it's not gonna be able to keep up. On this third one, now this is interesting, because on this one, what we see is a very thin raft, much thinner than it should be. In the center, we have where the supports printed, but along the outsides, we didn't. Now remember I talked about no, most printers are concaved, either because the LCD is kind of warped in the center or the bill plate slightly warped in the center out, making a bigger gap. That explains this perfectly, because what we have here is more compression on the sides than we do in the center. So this is a build plate that is probably very level. This looks like it's off of the Saturn III Ultra and a center that's slightly thicker allowing it to form, but the sides couldn't. So the issue with this one is actually the Z offset. Adjust that Z offset, maybe add an extra 0.3 millimeters, and this will probably print just fine. On the third one, now this one's really interesting. On the right side, we are getting where we've got the raft that printed, and a lot of the supports didn't. Again, mostly towards the center. And on the uh, left side, we have where the print worked out just fine. Now this is really a combination of a couple issues. The, the root issue of this one is, of course, the printer is out of level, meaning out of parallel to the build plate. Another thing with this one is that if you have really big prints or a lot of little prints that are crushed together, and you end up with these really large rafts, those really large rafts are gonna create that issue with that pressure where this thing kind of swells up because large cross sections get really hot, really hot resin cures faster. What I would do on this one is one, level the printer, and two, I would choose a raft type that has more open area to reduce that cross section and reduce that heat. That's gonna reduce the pressure on that right side of the print. Right here, we have a classic example of where the front corner facing us, the camera, is either is probably too high and the gap is too much. And if the gap is too much, the resin can't ever make it all the way to the build plate. 
and fully form. And so what we end up with is where there's just missing prints. Like I said, unfortunately, this is the root cause for a lot of these other issues where the advice to fix it is simply increase the burden layers, increase transition layers, or increase the UV exposure time. All three of those will have the same issue, which is create pressure and cause failures. Here you can see the issue with split rafts. Now this one is pretty easy. We can tell that bottom raft is probably much thicker than one millimeter, way too thick. And then the raft at the top is split. This is definitely the issue of too many burn-in layers, too much exposure, or too many transition layers, or all of the above. Again, I'm assuming this user got here because either they copied some red resin settings from the online profile, or they were trying to correct an out-of-level build plate. Given this looks like it came off of um, a Mars with a ball joint, those are pretty notorious for being hard to level and stay in level. My assumption would be this user uh, got very used to increasing the UV exposure time uh, and went so far to the point where they got split rafts. And here again, we can see we've got layer compression. Now this layer compression is evenly distributed across the entire build plate. So this person's printer is in level. The issue here is either their Z offset is too close or they've overexposed the bottom layers. Um, it could, or a combination of both. But looking at how thick the rafts are, I'm gonna say it's probably, probably too many transition layers. And with the settings right here, so let's have a look at it. Uh, transition layers 10, yep. So way too many transition layers. Bottom exposure time, third again, maybe a little bit high. They're only using four bottom layers, that's fine. But yeah, so probably they've overexposed the bottom layers and maybe the Z offset's wrong. Hopefully with this video, you've learned how to identify and correct your out of level printer. If you learned something new, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you have any more questions, join us on the Lychee Slicer Discord, link in the description. Thank you for watching and have a good day.